Let us now understand the functioning of the oily water separator. First, let us trace the path the oily water takes from the bilge pump discharge to the overboard valve. The bilge pump discharges the liquid into the inlet chamber of the OWS. At about half level, the liquid enters into the main chamber. This liquid, as it fills up the main chamber, also rises from the bottom into the first half of the coalescer filter. The liquid then flows over the solid partition down the second half of the coalesce filter. The two coalesce filters are designed to trap the oil particles in the liquid. This liquid is then discharged overboard or redirected to the bilge tank in case the oil content is more than 15 ppm. In case oil is detected at the inlet chamber sensor, the valve on top automatically opens and the oil is directed to the separated bilge oil tank. The bilge pump is running during this transfer. In case the oil content in the bilge effluent is high, the same will tend to rise in the main chamber. Once the oil is detected at the sensor here, the following operation is executed simultaneously. 1. The pneumatic valve on top of the main chamber is automatically operated which directs the oil to the separated bilge oil tank. 2. The bilge pump is automatically stopped. 3. The pneumatic overboard valve is shut to prevent any effluent from going overboard. 4. The pneumatic valve at the freshwater inlet is opened which permits the fresh water to enter and flush out the oil from the main chamber to the separated bilge oil tank. In the last stage, when the 15 ppm monitor detects the effluent ppm to be more than 15 ppm, the pneumatic valve will open to redirect the effluent to the bilge tank and the pneumatic overboard discharge valve will shut automatically. Once the manual overboard valves are secured, the system can be flushed with fresh water to clean it and keep it ready for the next operation.